right, I'm here with Marcel, Chef Marcel, and we have this beautiful spread in front of us. But before we get to the food, I want you to tell me more about Lemon Grove. Yeah, so Lemon Grove is basically a farm to table restaurant. And the reason why we call it the Lemon Grove is because we're paying an homage to our roots here in Hollywood. This whole area of Hollywood used to be citrus groves before it became the concrete jungle as we know it today and the entertainment powerhouse, if you will. Well, how would you describe your preferred cooking style, the menus that you create here? So the thing that really made me want to become a chef was my travels throughout the world. And so as I was traveling through Spain, Italy, Greece, you know, Japan, you name it, I kind of just became blown away with the cultures and also the, the cuisine. So for me, California, Los Angeles, we're just one big, huge melting pot. I mean, we have a Korea town, we have a Japan town, we have, you know, we might as well have a little Italy. And I love drawing inspiration from those cultures, right? So our tuna tartare is, you know, very Japanese, you know, inspired. Mm -hmm. The salmon is just focused in on all of the bounty of California vegetables. The hummus and cucumber is a little bit more, you know, Middle Eastern in vibe. So, you know, if we use soy sauce, doesn't really make us a Japanese restaurant. If we use fish sauce, doesn't really make us a Thai restaurant. And I just wanted to pay homage to California and to Los Angeles and just recognize how diverse our culture is here and actually showcase that in the food that we create. Well, these are gorgeous dishes and we have a gorgeous setting because we are on the rooftop of the Astro Hotel. What is it that you want people to get when they come in for a meal and they sit down and taste one of your plates? So, yeah, I mean, the vibe of the Lemon Grove is just, it's the epitome of California dining. I mean, we have this gorgeous outdoor dining room. You're surrounded by lemon groves, kumquat trees, herb gardens, cactus, succulents, flowers, rocks. Yeah, I mean, we've had, I mean, all the A-list celebrities Very in here. Nice. Uh, you know, I mean, they have, okay. they're in close proximity and, you know, yeah. I don't want to throw out any names, yeah, but we, it's not, just uh, don't know who it's not uncommon to, uh, to see them here. I love you know, it, I love it. Rub some elbows with some celebs and some stars. Okay, all right, so now it is time to dig in because yes. I like looking at all yes, this. Yes, the and I'm fun part. Okay. The world is our oyster. We just got to figure out where we want to shuck it first. Okay, um, where, where should so, we start, Chef? I mean, I really enjoy the tuna tartare. This okay. is nice, but it's almost like a, a tartare with a make your own hand roll. So okay. we have a little spoon on the side and you can kind of just scoop in the, the tuna tartare. So we have avocado mousse, uh, cucumbers, soy caramel, mm. little crispy crunchies on there. And this dish, you know, is served in the toban. So we have a, you know, obviously a huge Japanese influence on this dish. I um, spent a lot of time in Tokyo and Japan in general and um, did a series of pop-ups over there and it actually inspired my cuisine substantially. Speaking of uh, tuna and fish and stuff like that, I actually used to be a uh, commercial salmon fisherman in Alaska. Who knew? So I um, am a big fan of salmon. Mm -hmm. This is a this is actually a wild salmon here. Um, I can give you a little, no, little just a portion little, of little. this one, a little dab. Um, so here we have the miso honey salmon, um, the burnt Weiser Farms carrots with a little bit of that duca and some fronds, mm -hmm. and then you have to try the super unctuous yes. fennel puree on there with some pomegranate seeds. Okay. Oh yeah, that a lot of different flavors in that one. That's good. Yeah, and the, the fennel gives you a nice little sort of like anise flavor, mm -hmm. which complements the carrots and the, mm -hmm. and the miso honey. Big fan of that one. We also have our smoked trout dip over here. Oh. This is our bougie chips and dip. So we have a, a smoked trout, uh, a little bit of roe on top. We make an egg yolk jam uh, that goes oh, right on top there. That's kind of that. like the yellow mm -hmm. on top. Finish with some chives and then some house-made potato chips. I feel like one of my MOs with food is it should always be fun, right? I've always mm -hmm. enjoyed chips and dip. And so we try to think about like how to make a nice chips and dip dish, but kind of elevate it a little mm -hmm. bit. But at the same time, smoked trout dip is like something I grew up eating, something that gives me nostalgia. Mm -hmm. And then we just elevate it with the egg yolk jam and the roe and everything on there. Egg yolk jam. This is the first time I've ever heard of egg yolk jam. But eggs are my jam. And when you... I know I'm a little corny, sorry. Another dish over here. Um, <clears throat> one of the first things I ever learned how to make in a commercial kitchen was hummus. Still kind of going back to one of those very classic recipes. So we do hummus, one of my favorite things. We do a little bit of harissa, giving you some spice. And then we actually grill the cucumbers. We grill them and then we chill them. 
grill and chill. To kind of cool down the spice from the harissa. We've got some zaatar, some crispy oh, chickpeas, so this one's gonna have some kick. pickled onions. A little bit of kick from the harissa, but then cooled back down by the cucumber. cucumber. Okay. And then we've got a little pickled onion to give it a little punch of acid, um, some zaatar in there and everything. That is some good hummus. And um, I'm definitely tasting some kick in the house. Oh yeah, you get the harissa in there. <laughs> and then the cucumber, grab a cucumber, cool it back down. Mm -hmm. And then, um, you know, I usually just go back and forth. I get too hot, I get too cold, I kind of go back and forth and play with it. Oh my goodness, well, Chef, this is delicious. I want to thank you so much yeah, for sharing absolutely. a little bit of Lemon Grove with us. Yes, and, of course, um, thank you so much for coming. Thank you for it's being delicious. here. delicious, yeah. Now I'm going to go sit outside and just take in the view. Enjoy the veranda. Yeah, yeah. thank you. You got it.